I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I guess I might as well unpack. Gabe always wanted a bike like this. Is that a sword? We didn't even get to finish the song. Huh. I've really changed the art style since I read these. Must be Ethan's. Wonder how many times Gabe's been forced to play. Wait, what? Is that a real live dead deer? Gabe brushing up on comics and art? Really going the extra mile for Ethan and Charlotte. Holy shit. It looks like Gabe actually read this. I'm really happy for you, Gabe. Charlotte made this? Gabe mentioned she was an artist, but I didn't realize he meant, like, professionally. I could never make something so... personal. Whoa. Looks like Ryan turned my brother into a model citizen. At least I held it together in front of him and Steph. Broadcasting straight from your local record store. Because how fucking cool is that? Alex. Do I want to know? Guess I kind of gave Gabe the runaround, huh? Anita and Eduardo. <laughs> they were one of the good ones. Wow. Gabe's been looking for me for a while. So Gabe and Riley have been working on her interview, and Mac thought they were sleeping together? This is fucking stupid.
No way. Gabe has this photo too? Look at our parents. Mom's healthy. Dad's only kind of an asshole. Oh God, Shoo Shoo's gonna look so grungy on this nice bed. She's gotten me through some hard times, but I was hoping we were done with that. Ethan's really talented. Makes sense that his mom's an artist. Ethan's really talented. I never heard back from Sydney. I hope she's okay. At least she cared, more than I can say for most. I really wish those meds had worked. Chelsea, the rare bright spot from my time in the group home. I'm telling you, his story doesn't add up. He wants you. He's helping me get into college, baby. You know dudes can do nice things without the expectation of getting laid, right? A high school dropout? A guy who went to a fucking juvie? Wants to be your study buddy? What, out of the goodness of his heart? Oh my God, Mac, we're friends. There is nothing going on between Gabe and me. What an honor to be the sister of the Rubber Duck Derby second place finisher. I know I kicked the drywall crack when I see one. But it looks like Mr. John Chen left San Miguel County about six months after his arrival. Yeah, is, is there like a forwarding address on file? I'm sorry, sir. That's not information we retain. Thanks again for calling the San Miguel County Clerk's Office. Have a pleasant afternoon. No, 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 no. Hey, don't. <sighs> Looks like we've both had people trying to help us. I'm glad it made a difference for Gabe. Oh man, Gabe used to crush me, jerk. Gabe looks like he fits right in. Okay, how did he get this up here?
Looks like I don't need any quarters. Bonus. Crazy how much we've changed. It's really nice that Gabe and I both held on to this photo. journal. Time to add my latest meltdown. I'm going to choose to believe this isn't about me. Ugh. I'll finish this later. No fucking way. Well, Alex, you just went nuts and beat the shit out of somebody in front of your brother. So, 
How are you feeling right now? When you were here before Couldn't look you in the eye You're dressed like an angel Your skin makes me cry You float like a feather In a beautiful world I wish I was special You're so very special But I'm a creep I'm a weirdo What the hell am I doing here? I don't belong here Whatever makes you happy Whatever you want You're so very special God, I wish I was special But I'm a creep I'm a weirdo what the hell am I doing here? I don't belong here I don't belong here You and your damn surprises, Gabe. Being here is too good to be true. I'm not gonna let anything mess it up. I should go downstairs and set things right with Gabe. Brian, just forget it. Stop that. You need to take care of yourself. Got Mac patched up. Let's take a look at you now. Oh, looks pretty nasty right about here. <coughs> so, it hurts when you breathe? Alex, you made it. Charlotte, right? I'm sorry you had to see that fight. What a terrible first impression. Dad, I'm taking Gabe to the station. We need a first aid kit that doesn't predate the discovery of bacteria. It's fine. I don't need to go. Well, Ryan knows what he's doing. Now you just go with him. Alex, I'll be back soon, okay? Okay. Well, there goes my bartender and my backup bartender. I love that. It's a falling star? Yeah. Or rising. Depends on the day, I guess. So, what's it doing today? Rising, for sure. First day of my new life. Oh, good. I'm glad Mac's stupidity didn't ruin everything. <laughs> I heard Ethan gave you an issue of his comic. He obviously thinks you're really cool. But does he think I'm cooler than Gabe? I'd say you have a shot. Gabe plays dirty, though. Like, he secretly teaches Ethan to swear. Beef pie special. Watch the gravy. <laughs> Jed, you didn't have to. 
Now, Ryan said you're skipping dinner. No starving artists on my watch. I do have to get going. I'm making some pieces for the spring festival and they have to be done tonight. Sorry I couldn't talk longer. Oh, that's okay. So glad you're here, Alex. I'm looking forward to getting to know you. Yeah, same. Bye, thanks for supper. Yep. So I'm short-staffed at the moment. Gabe tells me you've worked at a restaurant before. A couple years experience as a server? Uh... Gabe's full of shit. I've never worked in a restaurant before. Never stops that one. But I would love the work, if experience isn't an issue. Want to give it a try? It's not too busy right now, and we keep it informal around here. Okay. Thanks. All right. So, we have a few folks that need checking on. Ducky and Diane over there. Steph over here. Uh, There's a table in the back that needs clearing also. You can give the food orders to me, and I'll handle anyone here at the bar. All right? Got it. It's really nice to have you here, Alex. Thanks. Guess I'm a server now. (laughs) Let's see how this goes. My dad was in the service. Can I get you to anything? Miss Chan, here at last to relieve our suspense. Hi. I am Reginald McAllister, the third, ducky to friends, former entrepreneur, now retired. And this young woman is Diane. Hey there. Nice to meet you. I didn't realize that- Uh, That we all knew you were coming, yes. Gabe is generous with uh, both friendship and information. You're from Portland, right? I moved here from D.C. six months ago. How are you finding the small town thing? I didn't really know what to expect, but it's kind of perfect. (laughs) It feels like a home. I know, I know. I really thought I would hate it. Then I saw the mountains, met some people. And now I'm never leaving. Diane is a geologist, recently working as a process manager for Typhon Mining. I'm glad there's another newbie around here, too. Can I get you anything? Oh, yeah, we're super hungry. I'd love a pie special with fries. Cheeseburger with mushrooms. And my usual to drink. Jed will know what to do. All right, I'll go put that order in. Thanks. My dad was in the service. That's Charlotte's dispensary. She seems cool. Ryan seems like a sweet guy. Damn boys, always fighting. Time to grow up. Should have seen Gabe go at it with Dad. He's come a long way. Hey, Dad. Yeah? I've got an order from Ducky and Diane. Go ahead. One cheeseburger without mushrooms. Uh Uh-huh, and? (laughs) 
one pie special with fries. Ducky asked for his usual? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he's fond of a particular rye whiskey. I keep a personal bottle for him. Oh, that's odd. I don't see it. Oh, now wait. I bet Ducky took that bottle upstairs last night. Yeah, he and Gabe went on carousing long after closing. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Serves him right if you ask me, but feel free to go upstairs and look for it. I'm sure he'd be grateful. Oh, if you can't find it, Deputy Pike was with them. Might have some idea. He's usually in here around now. Probably arriving soon. There must be something around the Black Lantern that can help me find Ducky's prized whiskey. Haven is nice. Just wish it felt like home. Hope we both get there soon. Haven is nice. Just wish it felt like home. Ducky? Jed thinks you took your whiskey up to Gabe's yesterday. Do you know where you might have left it? I remember absolutely nothing of the night. <laughs> really? Maybe check your phone. Did you take any pictures? Call anyone? <clears throat> have a look. For goodness sake. How do I access the photos on this thing? Nice. Poor Ducky. I shouldn't be reading this. Sorry, nothing useful. Well, thanks for letting me know. My dad was in the service. Damn boys, always fighting. Time to grow up. Wow. Tetanus anyone? I hope Brian's got better supplies. Tetanus is not a bad company. Once you get used to how they operate. Starting over from scratch like this? Yeah, that's what people keep telling me. Fucking terrifying is what it is. You're telling me. Ropes, My extensive wilderness map reading knowledge tells me that there is a whole lot of wilderness around here. Yeah, I guess. The way they do things is... Only 45 bucks for the chance to get mauled by a bear. That looks radioactive. That's the girl from the record store. Alex, right? I'm Steph. Hey. Just seeing if you need food or anything. Oh no, I'm good. Thanks, though. Sorry I couldn't hang out at the record store. I've got some time now, though, if you want to chat. So, are you, um, here with somebody? Or... That's Ryan's stuff. Apparently he ditched me for Gabe. They went to get first aid. Being a hero again. Ryan's always doing that. <laughs> it's a Luke and family thing. Have you heard about Jed's rescue? It was a big deal. Back when he was a minor, he saved- I can't imagine. Alex wants an earload of Haven trivia just now. Sorry, Jed. He doesn't like to brag but there's stuff about it all over the place if you look. Interesting. Is that record store inventory? <laughs> no, it's character stats. Do you know what a LARP is? I've heard the term before. Live action role play. It's like a tabletop role playing game, but acted out in real life. Costumes, foam weapons, beanbag spells, 
is great. Gabe was talking about a LARP with Ethan. Yeah, it's next week. They're coming with me. It's their first time. I'm so excited. <laughs> Would you ever want to join us sometime? Sure, I'd try it. If you and Gabe both like it, it must be super fun. Awesome. I should get back to work. Okay. There must be something around the Black Lantern that can help me find I Ducky's prized whiskey. Oh, is that really Ryan? On it. it wasn't even on me. But I guess it started vibrating in my... Sweet jukebox. I'll have to check out the song sometime. What a class act. Thanks for driving me home, wife. You're the nicest cop I've ever met. Whoa! Hey! Great. Another wipeout. Pike is a funny name. <laughs> like the fish. Officer Fish. <laughs> Jason, Pike is my... S Holy shit, is it snowing? Yep. Sure is. Oh, hey. Someone made a course about my life. Still want to hit the trails later this week? You can't. Shit. Now Mac's scared. At least he's not freaking out anymore. He won't make me lose control. Nineteen lives? Jed is a real hero. Haven seems pretty serious about this festival. Coupons for weed? What a time to be alive. How mysterious. Idiot. You're gonna lose her. You're gonna lose her and it's all your fault. Wow, I messed Mac up pretty good. G-A-B. That's gotta be Gabe, right? Jed asked me to clear that off. Holy shit. Can I talk to you real quick? What do you want? Listen, what happened upstairs was fucked up, right? From both of us. Where are you going with this? Look, Riley's headed over here. She's pretty heated. I, I, I don't think it helps. To recap all the gory details, you know? <laughs> so you're saying you want me to lie to cover your ass? No. No, just like, let me handle it. Look, she's gonna break up with me otherwise. We've been together four years. She is the best thing that's ever happened to me. So please, help me out. I, I don't know, man. Shit. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh my god, look at your face. No, it's okay. Don't even. What were you thinking? Where's Gabe? Why do you give a shit? Because my boyfriend just got into a fight with him. 
I swear. This is it. You better have a good explanation or... We're done. It's, it's not my fault. I just wanted to talk to the guy. About what? About you! About why you guys are meeting behind my back. Okay. So how did the fight happen? The bastard sucker punched me. Okay, um... Not exactly sucker punched, but he definitely started it. Oh God, were you there too? Yeah, I was there. Max telling you a whole lot of bullshit. You know what? That doesn't even surprise me anymore. So what really happened? Riley. Mac barged in, accused Gabe of sleeping with you, sucker punched him, and then kicked him while he was down. Riley, listen. What happened to Mac's face? I did that. Oh, good. It sounds like he deserved it. Thanks for telling me the truth, Alex. Wait, wait, are you, are we okay? Are you fucking serious? I'm so embarrassed by you right now. But are we still together? What do you think, you fucking idiot? No. Alex Chen? Uh. Assaulting Mac Loudon on your first day here, huh? I'm Jason Pike, the deputy sheriff. I'm gonna have to take you in for questioning. Mac assaulted Gabe. He's the one you want. <laughs> your face. <laughs> you should see your face. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, I'm only kidding. Uh, nobody's in trouble here. I, <laughs> Gabe and I just like to prank each other. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been pranked by a cop before. <laughs> you definitely got me. <laughs> Thanks for being a good sport. Can I buy you a drink? Um, maybe. I'm working right now. Well, I'll be at the bar. You want one, you just come by, okay? <sighs> Maybe you'll see a circus one day. Once I'm better with crowds. Guess these were for mining. Damn. I wonder if the bullet's still in there. Rest in peace, mister. This one's from yesterday. Hold up. It was Colonel Ducky on Gabe's couch with the bottle. Christ, she did that to that guy's face? It's steering clear. Aw, I'm already making friends. 